up because some of y'all are just too saved to act like y'all don't know how to dance. Y'all just too saved for me. Y'all ever seen one of them super saved people? Y'all got one of them y'all job, a super saved Shirley, you know what I'm talking about? Just, you can't even say hi. Like, hey, how you doing, Shirley? Oh, I'm too blessed to be stressed. I'm blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed when I'm coming, blessed when I'm going. I'm the head, not the tail, above, not the knee. And my father on the cow on a thousand hills. I'm the lender and not the bottle. <laughs> I just said hi. <laughs> Everything I put my hand to shall prosper. I'm like, Shirley. <laughs> yeah, some people just too safe for me. Like, you ever had that, been in church and seen that, 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 that super clapper? Oh. Then had a super clapper? You know, you got to, you know, just be clapping. You know, you, you know, they had Deacon Thornton up there clapping. You know, like man, I'm going to let it shine. And you know, it's okay to double up this little light of mine. Huh? And it's always got that one person, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And they just get into it. Prayer words. Y'all got prayer words in y'all church? Any prayer words in the house? Yeah! Prayer words. I be going ham on the microphone in the church, don't I? Lord, I be going ham. I mean, I be blowing people's ears down. Father God, we love you, God. Oh, bring down fire from the heaven, God. Yes, Lord. And I just I had to wonder, like, when I was in church, I was just like, did you pray like that at home? I mean, it's just like, like seriously, you ever thought about that? Somebody just did this to be going ham. In a sense, we pray, I mean, they watch it all across the pulpit. Oh, yes, God. And then be going in. Like, when you're at home by yourself, in your prayer closet, you'd be like that. What about, you know, when you're about to get on bed, you're about to go to bed. Now, my lady, the power to sleep. Especially if you're going to the pool, but they get in. As soon as you get in the pool, but you get in on these, start praying. I'm going to let this thing. God, let this sermon be good. Let me forget all my notes. I mean, let me not forget none of my notes. God, and I, let me get all the amens today. And let somebody say, preach, preach it at least twice today, God. Amen. I don't know. I'll just be wondering about that. Speaking of prayer, I've got that little prayer person that just. Say Father God so much that that they don't say nothing. But we come to you now, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Father God, for Father God, you are Father. And Father God, we just love you, Father God. Father God, for Father God, I know, Father God, that you are the Heavenly Father of the blood, Father God. And you sent your Son, Father, to be with us, Father God. Father God, Father God, Father God, Father God, Father God, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, Father God, Father God, Father God. That used to be me, because I used to leave an accessory prayer, and I didn't, didn't know what to say. I just, Father God, Father, guess it's like a filler. Father God, y'all watch Priests of L.A.? Yeah. Y'all see how they say your boy, what's his name? Clarence McClendon, I was like, again. Again. That was me saying, Father God, Father God, Father God, Father God. So they took me out the intercession and prayed to me. Because that's how I was saying, Father God. Oh, my God. Ooh, I'm sweating. What about that, like, dude who was proud to be like a sheet layer in church? I mean, he was like proud to be a sheet layer. And then, like, when the spirit hit, you know, but wait, before I get to that joke, one question that always has got to me, and I always want to ask this question, and was it, is it just me? Like, why is it that the ministers and the musicians are immune to the Holy Spirit? 
You know what I'm saying? Like when the spirit falls, everybody be home crying, they be crying and falling out. But the musicians and the ministers up there lay hands, they just going out business like maybe that's just me, because I always wanna like, don't y'all feel the spirit moving to it like come on drummer, you 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 instigate. The job got the instigate. This g lad was taking this, he was taking this job just a little too, too serious, and I guess the spirit fell on him. You know, he's supposed to be laying sheets on people. He wasn't a catcher, he wasn't good enough to be a catcher, because, you know, he dropped a few people. So he got to move the sheet there. And this, and I guess the spirit was heavy, and I seen this dude last kid you not. He fell out, lady, she don't accept. The is moving. Oh my God, what else? Y'all yeah, seem like a good, cool audience. So y'all want to keep it real with me? Yeah. For real. Seriously, y'all want to keep it real with me? I'm going to ask y'all a question. I want to see. Is it just me, or does anybody else do this? For real, y'all want to keep it real? Yeah. Don't lie. God don't know what you last close to Sunday, so don't lie. Um, when you wake up in the middle of the night, and you go to use the bathroom. Do y'all wash your hands when you get back in bed? <laughs> I mean, you ain't gonna eat. I mean, it ain't gonna be good. I was like, you know, uh, uh, tonight, we got to go to the bathroom. Should I wash my hands? Yes. Yeah. So it ain't just me. I, But I'm just asking to be honest. In order to not wash your hands, have you ever sat down with me? <laughs> just so you have <laughs> Come on, man, you know you did that. Come on. <laughs> yeah, look at Rush Down. Like, yeah, I did it yesterday. <laughs> I just did it yesterday. <laughs> Oh my God. You ever wake up like two minutes before your alarm clock go off and you be mad? Like, oh, 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 I'm not getting up. You got to hold your pee and everything. I'm going back to sleep. Don't that make you feel like, like the longest two minutes? I'm going to get these two minutes to sleep. Dang. So that ain't just me. Huh? What about? Alright, you're up in the morning, you're handling your business and before you get in the shower, you all good, you got clean, you know, shaved and everything. As soon as you get out of the shower, you got the number two. It was like, after the clock, like, do I got time? Tonight you have a decision to make. Do I go ahead and Google? Uh -huh. Do I wipe my butt? Oh, Lord. Or do I get back in the shower? Because you're like, because you already got clean, it's like, oh my God, I hate that. It ain't just me. You ever seen them talking so long that your feet fell asleep? Ever seen that tan? You were like, mm. Start rubbing. Mm. If you want to play Angry Birds, play Candy Crush, whatever you CSI. Wow. And you try to stand up. <laughs> baby, what's the toilet paper? So it ain't just me. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. What else? What else? What else? Anybody ever go? Who, who got toddlers? Anybody got toddlers or had toddlers? Got one on a road trip? Anybody said to get a kid like Will? Mm. I know we won't get my kids like Will. Let's get a real nerve in that back seat. Five, almost six, and school started. Right, he didn't want to go back to school, and so 
This dude will wake up in the morning and say, oh, I can't go to school. I can't go to school today, I'm sick. I'm like, what's wrong with you, son? What you mean you can't go to school? I'm sick. Well, you're sick, okay, you told me that. What's wrong with you? My stomach hurt. Okay, what's wrong with your stomach? I think, I think I got high blood pressure. <laughs> So what else be going on? What else going on? <sighs> Y'all ever heard this line in church? Pastor, you ever told us that? that ain't gonna be before you long today. <laughs> and it's like Thursday already. Like, what? <laughs> oh my God. I enjoy being up here doing comedy. I like making people laugh. I told some jokes before that, man, I got booed. And I'd rather, for, honestly, I'd rather for you to boo me than just to sit there and be quiet. So when I tell this next joke, if it don't go over funny, I want y'all to laugh anyway, especially the ones I gave the money to. I got me. So you better laugh anyway. Nah, man, I ain't getting nobody no money. Oh, man, what else be going on? What else going on in church, man? You ever been in church and... Fell asleep in church. I was the head of the sleep ministry. Because I, I knew how to do it. You got to know how to play it off. When you go to church, especially if you sit in the pulpit. <laughs> y'all when I sit in the pulpit, see, I was, I was an elder in my church. You sit in the pulpit. And you just, you know, they have a Queen Anne chair up front. You know, the pastor gets a real big chair. But you get in the Queen Anne chair. It ain't as big as the pastor, but it's like, it ain't no regular pew sitter chair. You know, it's a regular pew. So I'm sitting in there, and I fell asleep one day. But you got to know how to play it off when you fall asleep in church. You got to put your Bible on your lap. <laughs> put your Bible on your lap. Turn it to the 23rd song, right? Just, I don't know why 23rd song. I just love that for some reason. You just be that chiller. You sleep. But you can't snore. If you snore, don't do it. So you're just sitting there and, and then when you realize you sleep, you know, the choir marching out, you realize you sleep. You can't just jump up, play it off. <laughs> Turn the page. I thought you were praying. I thought you were praying. <laughs> now, so he don't put quote scriptures, but you got to know how to play it off, man. You got to know how to do it. You got to know how to do it. Ah, uh, what else we going on in church? What about it? Y'all got more fast at y'all church? Y'all fast? Oh, man. I used to cheat. Anybody else cheat on their fast? Yeah. They're 66 fast? Oh, man. Boy, I'm going to tell y'all what I should do on my fast. Especially at 66 fast. I used to wake up at 4.30, right? No, I'll never wake up at 4.30. Wake up at 4.30, cook the biggest breakfast I can cook, man. I can eat everything I can eat. Then, like, it's like close time, almost 6 o'clock, I'm trying to shut it down. I'm like, God, I got 32 seconds. Get it all in. And then when you get off work, get off work at 5, you start cooking your meal about 5.20. Because you know how long it's going to take. You smell it. Because you can't really taste it. And as you count that o'clock, you count it. 20 minutes. And you start praying like you got 30 seconds left. God, thank you for giving me the strength to pray on You sustain me on this fast. I praise you, God. Thank you, man. Tell him. Woo! But why, why would you go on a fast? Like, and you're at work, that's what everybody want to treat you. We want to pop ass and say, I can't afford it. I don't want to tell nobody you fasting, but that's what everybody want to treat you to lunch. Popeyes, that's what had a good food in the cafeteria. You gotta take the day to day. You know what I'm that's my time. I appreciate you guys laughing with me today. Thank you all. I love you. Peace.